Hi and welcome to this new class. It's about relationships and today we are talking about creating the vessel to vulnerability. So if, if you have ever entered a surgery room and you have climbed on the you know cold metal stretcher and go, gone to, to that bed naked you know for a stranger to inject you with a substance that can probably kill you I inform you that you have already been vulnerable and I am sorry for the dramatic stage but it is in its maximum stage vulnerability is to give a space to another person to have your life in their hands it is showing everything you are your soul with the risk that that person you love can pass, you know, a little bit on the anesthesia and kill you emotionally. So I am sorry again for the drama of the example. Uh, but I try that you can understand what exactly I mean with vulnerability. You know, it's, it's more than keeping in touch with ourselves and our emotions and crying. Uh, vulnerability opens us, breaks us. So then lights can come out. Our light can come out. So it is that, you know, maximum state of, of giving, giving yourself and a total performance that we can really show ourselves as we are, take off our mask and expose our lights. That is vulnerability, to break us to the point that our light can come out. So it is difficult for us to be vulnerable because they sell us the propaganda that we have to be strong, to, you know, go ahead, to that the heart is a muscle and it, doesn't, it does not broke, um, that people do not die for love, that... Um, there are more people in this world. Um, you know, there is a lot of inconsequences that, you know, we have been learning throughout our life that make us as hard as a stone. And um, then we ask why our relationship doesn't work. So they, they actually, people should turn those things into, you know, a book. People should write a book about this and name it like How to Become a Stone or Hardening for Dummies. And then we ask ourselves, we keep asking us ourselves like what, why that person, you know, left, um, why don't we have love in our lives, what happens in our relationships, why, why don't, we, you know, we don't manifest love. It is hard to fall in love with a wall. It is very hard. If you never try it, try it and let me know how it goes. It is very hard to fall in love with a wall, you know. We have to go back to the, to the root. We have to soften our hearts to connect with our feelings. And we have to stop hiding our feelings because our feelings are not bad. You know, um, as we grow up, a lot of people said, don't cry, don't call him, don't text him, wait for him to call him, wait for him to text him. Why? You know, and, and we go on that path of hardening ourselves or creating separation instead of creating, you know, the, the connection we want with that person. And whoever is prepared to see us vulnerable and stay is the person worthwhile so if, if that person if you are vulnerable and that person run away why do you want to be with that person that doesn't handle your vulnerability that doesn't handle yourself as you are so why do you want to be with a person that doesn't you know that that person don't accept you as you are. So, to be vulnerable, you have to learn. You know, to be vulnerable with others, you have to learn to be vulnerable with yourself, to know yourself. 
and over information you know we have we live in an era of over information and that doesn't help um, you know I be all day on the cell phone like getting information getting information and you don't even have time to process that information to declutter the information and to say okay this is this resonates with me this don't resonate with me you, you just absorb everything and that doesn't allow you to connect with yourself and to know yourself and to connect with your feelings and to be vulnerable and you are always in the doing mode you know in the have to do mode constantly um you know emanating this masculine energy and you don't give a space to the feminine energy that is you know being just being to come out so connecting with your feminine energy um by the way open to vulnerability is allowing you to to feel to be and to feel and just be there just be you and just feel what you're feeling good or bad just feel it and don't do anything just be the feminine energy is a lot about not doing anything and you are taking action with that because you are deciding to sit down there and receive you know be in the receive mode you turn on the receive mode and you just sit there and just be and and create the vessel create the space for things to come you know it is a balance between the masculine energy of doing and doing your part that is fine and there is the other part of the feminine energy that is allowing creating the vessel and creating the space to receive in the relationship is the same thing you know you do your part in the relationship you are there you are your authentic you you show that person love compassion you know but but there is a moment that when that person comes to you to give you love you have to let that person do his or her part you know sometimes we are so hard on it that we find it hard we find it difficult to receive and when someone wants to give give us something we react and we say like why are you giving that to me say thank you and you are putting yourself in that receiving mode if a person writes to you and you know that your 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 partner or the person you like writes to you to know how are you don't just start saying why you you didn't call me two days ago you say thank you because that person is you know concerned about you is having this this detail with you of asking how are you that person doesn't have an obligation um, to do what you think that person should be doing uh, so we have to be open always to receive what the other person has to give us as on, in their own way we have to stop conditioning the way we are receiving things from the other person so if that person didn't call yesterday it's fine if that person calls today receive with open arms don't begin to pull walls and to ask why you didn't call me and to you know being um, don't start manipulating things and you know don't answer back or having an attitude because because that person didn't call yesterday so stop softening yourself in your heart because you know magazines and societies show showed us uh, while we were growing up that we have to do those things of ignoring the per the person of done you know of having an attitude and that is those are like manipulative tools and that doesn't work to connect to real connect with a person that you're just manipulating that person and that's not good that is not love love and manipulation are two different things and we have to know to differentiate it because it 
get to a point that it can look you know similar but no it is a lot of difference there and where where there is manipulation love doesn't exist because love doesn't manipulate anyone so you can to connect with your vulnerability you can listen to songs that reflects how you feel uh, think, do things that inspire you be with you go you know inside and connect with with yourself with thing in that moment you know do something that you feel you that you feel that your light is coming out that you don't have to make excuses that you don't have to pretend that you don't want the approval of anyone and you are in that moment when you do that when you feel that way you are creating the vessel to receive you are allowing yourself to be vulnerable and your light start to come out. and you f you can feel the difference you can feel the energy you know and if you want to connect with another person if you want an authentic connection between you and another person you have to be vulnerable is the only way is the only way that you can connect with you know for real with other with other person if you are not authentic if you are not vulnerable if you don't show yourself as you are you are not connecting truly with another person so um it is in that vulnerability state where you connect to love to creativity to be creative is to be vulnerable you connect in vulnerability you connect with joy and yes it is the the risk of being hurt of being disappointed of you know um, of being rejected but that that is life if we are not vulnerable we can't experience all those feelings and you just live in a numbed state you know that you don't want to feel the bad but you don't feel the good either so you just live in this numb state in this um, miserable state so how do we experience deeper and more intense love if we are not vulnerable enough to create that connection also that means exposing all ourselves to pain Actually, from my own experience, it's worth it. It's worth it to feel a real connection and feel, you know, learn to feel comfortable in the uncertainty that a relationship brings. There is something with relationships, we are never sure how the things are going to be so um, it is we have so much trouble with relationships because we have to be vulnerable all the time relationships demands that you are completely vulnerable you know the entire the, the entire time request vulnerability if you have a relationship with, when, where you are not vulnerable and your, your partner is not vulnerable, you don't have a connection with that person. You have a business with that person, you have a contract with that person, but you don't have a connection. So you are not allowing yourself to actually feel love and give love. And I am sorry, but what are you here if you are not here to love? So, to wait for a call, to say I love you first without knowing the reaction of the other person, to give yourself to a relationship without the certainty of, of how things will turn out, to ask for forgiveness, to say what you feel with compassion and kindness, to have the will to go through that you know uncertainty to honor your emotions in the moment is to be vulnerable 
However, we, we live numbing. You numb yourself. You numb that vulnerability. There is a, a TED talk um, by Brené Brown. Uh, I don't know if you have uh, seen it. If not, I recommend it. I, I will leave the link um, below the video. So there is a TED talk from Brené Brown about vulnerability. I totally recommend you to see it. And there is a part that explain how numbing our vulnerability is the product that we live in depth, that we are obese, that we are medicated all the time, that we expend a large amount of money on medications, on you know, therapists, and it is, it's as it was in which there are more psychological and personality disorder, you know, that ever in history. Something that she explained is that in this era, in this society right now, in this moment, there are more psychological and personality disorders than ever. And it is all because of the fear of shame, of the fear of rejection, of not being accepted, of the fear of being hurt, of that, you know, constant um, searching for approval that, you know, we don't get to understand that we don't need the approval of anyone to be who we are. So, I quote a part of, of an interview with uh, Paulo Coelho, is a Brazilian writer, and uh, which explains why it's worth being vulnerable. They ask him during the interview what hurts the most, the memory or, you know, forgetfulness. And we reply, replies, to not do anything, I think it what hurts the most. So there it is. I think in action, and I am thoroughly agree with that um, phrase and with that answer. Not daring to live fully, vulnerable to life, connecting authentically, loving, keep us in, in action. And over the year, that is what hurts the most, to look back and not having done something about it, regardless of it, if it you know, goes right or wrong. And I think that's the part that hurts the most, that you look back and you say, I should have done something and you didn't do anything. So I think um, I always have been afraid of that, that I just have this experience as Laura Gomez, as, as myself, I just have this life and it's, it scares me not to live it at its fullest, to not develop my potential, to not, you know, have the opportunity to give the person I love all the love that I have to give. And that scares me most of if this, the things go right or wrong. I am more afraid of inaction than to actually do something with the uncertainty of what is going to happen. So you did not try it, so now you will never know what could have happened. And with this, I don't say you have to experience everything that is not where I am going. Don't go out now experience everything that you see there. No. You have we have to, to we need our you know own criteria and to experience positive things. So you will not grow for, from that experience because you didn't allow yourself to experience it because you have stayed in the same place you were, uncomf un uncomfortably comfortable, 
because it is what you already know and allows you to live shelter and numbing your vulnerability so you feel secure but you're actually uncomfortable where you are so pharmaceuticals will be very mad at what I am saying because if we heal ourselves if we are vulnerable um, if we stop being afraid of what people said if we stop um, being afraid of trying what we really want to try and to live and to experience we will stop taking you know anxiolytics and antidepressants which are not covered by medical insurance by the way and cost a fortune so I say this because I lived for several years with anxiety a huge anxiety problem and suffer several uh, uh, panic attacks and all because I couldn't deal with my emotions um, I have been hurt many many times and for a while I found it hard to accept and flow with my sensitivity the fact that I am you know highly affected by um, by energy by emotions so with the fact that I understand that the purpose of this life is to love connect to serve to help to nurture to be light and gi give light and um, in a society where we are you know used to make up you know make up feelings numb our emotions and pretend to feed and I don't go with any of that so do you want a real relationship I ask you now do you want a real relationship because for this you need to connect and to connect you need to surrender to live with compassion first for yourself and then for compassion with others you have to surrender surrender to accept yourself as you are and to accept the other person as he or she is without trying to change that person honor and communicate your feelings and emotions in a healthy way to surrender to be authentic knowing that knowing that not everyone will accept you and so if no everyone accepts you I have always said um, that the people who really matter are those who stay are those who respect you are those who accept you and see yourself as you are and above all love you and don't harm you you know the others you know if if there are people that don't want to be in your life because you are being yourself that's fine let them go it is okay and you have to accept that it's a responsibility that comes from being your authentic self there are people who are going to go and that is fine so I always ask people who are concerned about you know the approval as you know acceptation or to you know everyone likes them and I said like are you a person or are you a psycho you know a monkey from a circus you don't have to entertain people you don't have to make things for people to like you you just have to be yourself and the right people are coming to you because of who you are of who you truly are so if you're not authentic if you don't show yourself vulnerable so that others can see and appreciate who you really are you will live creating false connection fake connections how you know relationships like that are not um, you know relationships that you know are like a business or a contract something less than a relationship based on the superficial the physical attractions the benefits you can get from that person of that relationship as if they were you know bank transactions but you are not connecting you are not experiencing the emotions and the feelings so 
then you complain that you are in a relationship when your partner demands things that you don't want to do or criticize certain aspects of you uh, time passes and you feel dissatisfied because your partner is not considerate with you is not compassionate towards you you feel empty and that's because you pretend you pretend to be someone you are not you know for for the feel of of being vulnerable for the feel of showing yourself as you are so now you have to deal with that you have to deal with feeling empty because there there is not real a real connection with that person so that person doesn't feel compassion towards you so it is not you know it's not worth it to be yourself to show yourself as you are to be vulnerable and um and avoid going, you know, from failed relationship to failed relationship. And just find that connection you want to find. Even that means, you know, exposing yourself and showing yourself as you truly are. Because vulnerability connects us to passion. To feel alive. You know, to be grateful. To love without guarantees, but to love unconditionally. And the thing is that when we love unconditionally other person, we feel so good. It's like even the other person is not showing the same love to us. We feel so good because we are loving with all we have. And that makes us better. That makes us happier. That fulfills us. So... I know that love, to love someone without guarantee is the most frightening thing that can exist, but it's worth it. Because you have loved, you have experienced that, you, not the other person, you have experienced that. You will not die without having loved someone with your whole being. You will not die being someone you are not. You will leave and you will give Things because in that state of unconditional love, of that, you know, nakedness of the soul, of surrender, of passion, of uncertainty, is what you will find within you, what we all seek, happiness, and the meaning of our life, which is to love. Thank you for joining me. I led you the, the link of the Brenna Brown um, TED Talk. If you can watch it, watch it. It's um, amazing how she explains vulnerability. So thank you for joining me. I hope you like it and comment also below.